Forces are vectors and they have both size and direction. So for example, I could be pushing a box along a floor and because I'm exerting a force on the box, I could be exerting, let's say, 50 newtons and let's say I'm, ex um, I'm exerting that force to the right, then that would be a vector because a vector has both size and direction. Whereas if I said the temperature in this room is 20 degrees Celsius, then that doesn't have direction. It's just a, a quantity. It's just a measure. So that's actually called a scalar. So forces are vectors. They have both size and direction. Forces on a body can be combined. Oops, I mean to cross that out. Combined into a single, what's called a resultant force. A resultant force, which achieves the same thing as the forces that are being combined. And that resultant force can be, can be uh, combined by adding or subtracting the forces on a body. Subtracting. So for example, here we have a car which has a drag force of 800 newtons backwards. And forwards it's got an engine force of 2000 newtons. Now we can think of the backwards force as its opposite to the forwards force. We could think of it as a, a minus quantity and the engine force as a positive quantity. So if we added these two things together, minus 800 newtons and plus 2000 newtons, then we would get plus 12,000, sorry, 1200 newtons or 1200 newtons, which is in the positive direction, i.e going to the right. And this is called the resultant force. Resultant force. In other words, it's the same, it's a force which does the same job as all of the other forces put together.